Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gateway connection in Power BI service. Before that, the question arises, why do we need the gateway connection in Power BI service? Suppose you have created a Power BI report on SQL Server or any Excel files. And after completing that report, you have published it to Power BI service. Now, after publishing it to Power BI service, you, you will have to be updated with the data. Since the SQL Server or Excel we have used in our report is present in our local system and that is called on-premise. So on-premise basically means it is located in our local system. So in order to refresh the report in Power BI service that is in cloud, there should be a bridge between the cloud and our local system. So this gateway works as a bridge from which we can transfer our data that is present locally to the cloud. So this gateway helps our data to securely transfer from the local system to cloud that is Power BI service. As you can see on my screen, this is our adventure works report, which is built on SQL Server database. Currently, we don't have any gateway. So if I try to refresh this data set, it will throw me an error. It says refresh failed because this semantic model requires a gateway. Please select a gateway from the semantic model settings. So I will close this. So if I go to this gateway and cloud connections, so it is showing you don't have any data gateways. So we'll have to install the data gateway. From where we can do that? Here we are in the My Project Workspace. Here on the top navigation bar, you can see this download option. So if I click on this, there is an option for data gateway. If I click on this, it will take us to a page. It's uh, showing us two options. Download standard mode, download personal mode. Personal mode is basically not shareable. We'll have to work on individually and standard mode can be shared with multiple users. So all in all, I will say go for personal mode only if you have to do uh, the individual projects and you don't need to share your gateway with others. So the standard mode is used in the organizations and can be used personally as well. So let's download this standard mode. It will take some time to download. So let's install this data gateway. Install to you can choose the directory where you want to install. Accept the terms and conditions and click on install. It is installing. So it's saying installation was successful. It is asking us to give the email address to use with this gateway. So we'll have to use the email address that you are using in Power BI service. Let's sign in. So now it's giving two options. Register a new gateway on this computer or migrate or restore or take over an existing gateway. So since we are a new user, we can register a new gateway on this computer and click on next. Now uh, let's name this BI tricks gateway. We need to set a recovery key and we'll have to keep it safe. So in, if in future you want to restore this gateway to a new computer, in that case, uh, it will be helpful. So I'm going to set it and click on configure. The gateway BI tricks is online and ready to be used. So now if I go to Power BI service and if I click on this uh, schedule refresh option. So here, if I click on this gateway and cloud connections, you will see uh, now it's showing a gateway, but it's showing not configured correctly. We need to configure it now. Let's click on this right arrow. It will show the credentials of SQL Server. It's giving an option to add to gateway. So if I click on this add to gateway, it's asking to create a new connection. It's asking to give a name to this connection. So I will say SQL Server connection. And the server and database is already taken. In the authentication method, choose basic and type your username and password for SQL Server. And then let's keep the privacy level as organizational and let's say create. So we have created a gateway connection for SQL Server. So let's check it in the gateway and cloud connections now. If you see here, earlier we were not getting this maps to option. So now we can map this to our SQL Server connection that we have created just now. Let's map it and click on apply. So now it has mapped to this SQL Server connection. So this is how we create the gateway connections. Uh, now we can successfully refresh the data set using manual refresh or using scheduled refresh. So for manual refresh, we can directly trigger it from the data set. Or if we want to schedule the refresh, you can do it from this refresh option. So let's try to refresh the data set. So if I go to the workspace in the adventure works data set, you can see this refresh option and the refresh is in progress on the right you can see this loading icon so basically it's refreshing the data set and our data set is refreshed so this is how we configure the gateway connection that's all about this video i hope you like this video if you like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel to be updated with my new videos till then goodbye and thanks for watching